Hello everybody, my name is Josue Ayala, and I have a little bit of a confession to make. You see, I've been wanting to make a video for a little over a week now. Uh, it was going to be a response video to... It was going to be a response to a video from Nerdrotic called Watchmen Episode 1 Review. It's summer and we're running out of ice, but I was ultimately unsatisfied with the end result and have decided to scrap that. And part of the reason why I was so unsatisfied was because I ultimately ended up constantly repeating myself uh, with the assertion, because they have, they have a lot of criticisms about the show, which is fine. You know, you're allowed to have to voice your opinions on things. That's, that's no big issue. Uh, but they were constantly annoyed, to put it mildly, about one particular creative decision, which is that Rorschach became the face of these white supremacist group called the Seventh Cavalry. And they had no idea why that could possibly be because Rorschach was never racist. He was never uh, anything other than a flawed person who knew right from wrong, ultimately, and all of so on and so forth. And they just couldn't understand how someone like Rorschach became a white supremacist in the show. They found it to be unbelievable and just a baffling decision that completely uh, ruined the thing for them. Not completely, because they had other things that they hated as well. But that was the big one. And so I thought it would be nice if I could just go in and quickly explain why Rorschach is a white supremacist in the show. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Why is Rorschach a white supremacist now? Well, he isn't really. It's, I mean, it's basically that simple. He's not a white supremacist. He is, however, being co-opted by white supremacists, uh, his face and his likeness, who have co-opted his identity to use it to mask their own ideologies. It's sort of like the way that Pepe the Frog or that OK symbol are not white supremacists in themselves, but they have been co-opted by white supremacists because that's what white supremacists do. Even the swastika is not originally a Nazi symbol. It used to be something else before it was co-opted. I don't know exactly why they do this. You could probably look it up and find uh, some theories on the subject, but that is what happened. Rorschach's likeness was taken over by white supremacists after he died, and they used the likeness to incite racial violence in this show, in the alternate history 2019. And now, you know, even if you completely accept that, you might say, all right, well, that's all well and good, but how did they come to do that? Because this is because that was something that they did not understand as well. How is it that these white supremacists knew who Rorschach even was because he died in Antarctica and, you know, no one would ever know about him? And it's because he turned his journal into the New Frontiersman, which is a far-right publication that's basically 1980s Infowars, right? Like, these people are openly xenophobic, openly racist, uh, and their readership, presumably, uh, with the possible exception of Rorschach, is very, very similar. And that's not just my interpretation of it. Like, that's literally what they are. Like, <laughs> the text couldn't be more explicit. I'm going to read you a little bit from the book. I have it open for me right now. You could read it yourself. It's in Watchmen. Uh, that's to you, Nerd Roddick, and your co-host Doomcock right there. And I quote, Nova Express makes many sneering references to costumed heroes as direct descendants of the Ku Klux Klan. But might I point out that despite what some might view as their later excesses, the Klan originally came into being because decent people had perfectly reasonable fears for the safety of their persons and belongings when forced into proximity with people from a culture far less morally advanced. No, the Klan were not strictly legal, but they did work voluntarily to preserve American culture in areas where there were very real dangers of that culture being overrun and mongrelized. Similarly, during our perfectly justified retaliatory bombings of Beirut in 1979, there were many of our so-called fair-weather friend European allies who were bleeding out about supposed infringements of international law. 
And this is the paper that Rorschach sent his journal to, meaning that the only people who read Rorschach's journal are going to be people who would willingly read this day in and day out. It'd be like if InfoWars got a scoop that fucking, I don't know, whoever was secretly behind an alien invasion and no one really is going to believe them except for the people who openly and constantly read InfoWars. That's not the only thing, of course. On the page next to it, you see a Jewish stereotype in the in the comic that they have here. A Jewish stereotype uh, with Big Biz written on his uh, coat. Crime. A guy with a hat that says crime is speaking kind of in Spanish, I think. Uh, there's a Asian guy who's about to shoot a rock, I guess, from a slingshot at the United States, who is a uh, big, white, blonde hair, presumably. Uh, so yeah, this this creative choice didn't come from nowhere. And I know how much you guys love your Watchmen. You you make a point of pulling it out and saying how you have the collector's editions and all that sort of stuff. I would recommend that you guys go ahead and give them a quick read. Because if you did, uh, you might have seen this one coming. Oh, that sounded unnecessarily mean. I don't mean to do that. Obviously, they care a lot about uh, this book. And again, it's fine that they dislike it. I just, I just didn't understand how, how this was shocking to some people. And yeah, this, this was a good vehicle to sort of get this off my chest, I guess. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for listening to me rant a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go now. I'll see you later.